quickly. She runs Gracie Worlds, Gracie Nationals, and I really believe in what she's doing. I believe in what she's doing more than any other jiu-jitsu event. And she does a lot for jiu-jitsu. She's the granddaughter of the Grandmaster Elio Gracie, daughter of Horan Gracie. And she came here to talk a little bit today about um, Gracie Worlds. First of all, I'm sorry I'm so late. Brazilian time, 100%. <laughs> now I just want to tell you guys that, you know, it, it's been a very like amazing experience like watching this whole thing develop. And so we make little changes every single year to make the rules better and better for you guys. But the feedback when you compete is the most important thing I can get because that's when I know, okay, we have to make little changes here, little changes there. So it's really important when you guys are competing, when you're coming over to compete, to give them the feedback. What we're trying to teach you here is that in case if you're in the street fight, you're going to know how to defend yourself. In these competitions, there's no mat under you. Guess what? If somebody's going to pick you up, they're going to slam you on the ground. You're going to hit what? Concrete. And it's not going to be good for you. So the goal is to teach people and get them used to the idea that it's not okay for you to do that. So when you pick the person up, once they pass like about your knees and you pick them up, you have to open your legs. Now the referee is supposed to put their, his hand behind the competitor, so there's no nothing happens, and then you open your legs and you continue. It happens. By qual position she means this. Yeah, because guess what? In a street fight or in a real fight, you're gonna get slammed in the concrete. Flying arm bars and stuff. There's ways you can do it depending on how you touch the body, but you cannot just be holding like a koala, you know, and nothing happening. What she's saying is the flying arm bar is legal as long as see I have contact. Yeah. I don't have contact. Right before the tournament, we're gonna to basically go a little small seminar to tell you some of the stuff on how to prevent from an injury. By education, we teach people how to do the right way with jiu-jitsu. And the same thing, with, it's that slamming position. It's just educating people that shouldn't even be in that position at all. Shouldn't even exist. Hey guys, I'm teaching tomorrow, 12.30 to 2.